Welcome back, everybody, to Flashing Lights. We're going to do some EMS today. So, without further ado, let's get to it. <clears throat> Gunshot wound. Take that. All right. Let's get to our ambulance right here. And uh, start her up and get rid of this menu here. There we go. And our lights and our siren and our headlights. There we go. We get a gunshot wound. So let's check our map. He's out in the county, so we will be going left. I mean, right. Oh, glitchy. Here we go. Wow. My driving's horrible, isn't it? Uh, dispatch, can you dispatch another ambulance to my location now? I think I just crapped my pants. Slow it down a little to make this right hand curve to get on the interstate. <clears throat> we don't go too fast because we get out of whack and that's never good. I'll make us right here to exit because we're going to this housing uh, subdivision right up here on the right. So we'll use the alternating to high uh, alternating tone. For our turns and intersections, so <clears throat> we're gonna follow all the way straight through. Most of the time they get out of your way, but you do have an idiot every now and then. Okay, don't get out of my way then. Idiot. Idiot. Alright, should be on right here. Somewhere. Right here where the police are. Get out. We're over here. Just go ahead and get the stretcher out. Uh, medic stretcher. Let's grab it. <clears throat> Probably was a police action when the police were. Chasing the suspect, and he was being stupid. Get the med bag, inspect the patient. All right, let's see what we got here. Pulse found. Lower extremities. Pulse pulse found. Upper extremities. Pulse and a wound. Okay, his right hand arm is wounded. Conscious breathing and pulse found. Okay, so now we got to uh, apply bandages, which is going to be trauma airway, close. I mean, trauma? No, yeah, bandages. Trauma, bandages. Uh. Let's try clothes, trauma airway, bandages. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. 
it's gotta be. Are we full inspect the patient? Yeah, no, we got one more right there. That's why it wouldn't let me do it. Now, trauma bandages on the arm, which you can't see because he's in the grass. Alright, now establish an IV, so get out of that menu, go to IV push, establish an IV. IV push is saline. There we go. Now we can go to this menu, grab our med bag, move to stretcher. And there he's on the stretcher. Grab our med bag again. Place it on the stretcher. Transport our patient to the hospital. That's how easy. <clears throat> Turn right there. Uh -uh. Close our doors. Head off to the hospital now. Now, depending on where you are, let's stop real quick. Uh, it will depend on what hospital, you know, but all of them are about the same distance in, you know, apart. So we'll just go back to our home base hospital. I mean, it's not like a, I wouldn't think this would be like a 100% emergency, emergency, because, you know, like uh, crucial because the patient is stable and breathing. It's not like we found a patient who's unbreathing and, uh, you know, we got to urgently get them to the hospital for care. I wouldn't think. Uh, I am not an ENT, I'm not a medical, even anywhere near the medical field, so... Don't give me the line. Don't take what I say is 100% because, like I said, I'm not in the medical field at all. Alright, we'll run down here. Rush through, keep going straight. Down to the ER hospital. Emergency room. <laughs> We're turning here. Get our patient out. Stretcher. Take him on into the hospital. Yeah. That's how easy to drop patient off. Just run through the exit and then take him immediately. 
Well, this is something new. Never had the rooms back here before that I remember. I mean, they may have, but I don't remember them. The hospital beds. That's kind of cool. This is a... Nice. Okay, okay, I'll see you. Nice job in the hospital, interior the hospital. Let's go on. That's an ambulance ship door. We'll turn it back this way. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Reaction, we'll take it. This is where? Where is this? Up in the upper part of the county, same place. Only a different part here. So we'll go this way. Go back to the right. Back on this tunnel. We're losing textures there. I'll always do right there. I don't know why. greenhouse <laughs> let's jump out let's go inspect the house real quick see if we can get in yep that's him there all right let's get our med bag medical med bag The door's locked. He just come out of there. Are you serious? I'm looking at the tool. Door is now open. Run back to the truck. Drop our tool off. Grab our med bag. Inspect patient. Pulse found. Pulse found. Pulse found. Pulse found. Pulse 
pulse bound. All right, give them an an histamine shot. So <clears throat> go down to here. That's no, that's IVs, medications, and a histamine shot. Row top. No, I be mean, no. Medications and a histamine shot. Transport to the ER. So we will move the stretcher. We will grab our med bag. Head out the door. We'll close it for them. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see, you can move the stretcher without the stretcher out, see? Now we're on the ambulance. The back door. That works if I have two people. But having one person, and I get back in the ambulance. Get out of the freaking ambulance, you moron. There we go. Shut the door. We're not going to ride the full siren because it's just the uh, allergies. It's not like, I mean, yeah, it can be deadly. And, you know, she's got an antihistamine shot in her, so it is. Uh, I got the traffic turned up too high. There's too much traffic. That's why it's the, that's why they're acting completely stupid. Kind of like GTA Five, <laughs> just completely stupid AI traffic. go Shouldn't be doing 80 miles an hour. I don't think this would be a life and death type of situation. Not like a gunshot or a heart attack or anything along those lines. I mean, it can be deadly. Absolutely, it can be deadly, but... Hmm, pull stretcher. Do, 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 do. In we go. That's another patient taken care of. All right. I'm back out to our ambulance. Okay, it's her fucking arm. There we go. Sorry, y'all. Didn't mean to say that. <laughs> there we go. Shut the ambulance up. Uh, ambulance lights out. There we go. Motor vehicle collision. Sure, we'll take it. 
Why not? Get our stretcher. Reason I grab the stretcher most of the time is because it gets all three bags. Uh, medical devices. If you come back and just grab the medical bag, then you may have defibrillator. You may need the whatever. So it's best just to grab the stretcher. Alright, we'll come up here. Why has it not let me inspect the patient? I don't know. Let's go to the other side. It's not let me inspect patients. Well, there's nothing I can do if it won't let me inspect the patient. Well, I mean, that's a glitch. Hmm. So you need the med bag. Can't inspect the patient. That's really weird. You used to be able to inspect patients and all, but I'm gonna try crouching. Crouching tiger. No, nothing works. Okay, well, you can't do about that call. That's uh, un unfortunate. Because that's what we can do. Because I don't think. Yeah, see, there's nothing you can do even without the meta bag. There's nothing you can do. That is unfortunate. What a shame. All right, well, now you can see how you get out of, out of a call that you don't want to do. I'm going to rotate around. Yeah, 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 wink. Close the ambulance up. Jump inside. Here's how you get rid of a call. Pull up the MDT. There it is. Go into the CAD. I mean, that's what it was. I wasn't on the call. Hmm. Let's see. Thought I accepted it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. That looks like that's. Oh, get the stretcher out of the ambulance, Mark. What are you doing? You got people injured and you're freaking playing around with a stretcher. There you go. That's got to be a hard way to walk. Alright. Pull up here with the stretcher. So we can push this cop out of the dang way. Standing right there in the damn way. Move it back. Now let's see if we can inspect the patient. Nope. Still nothing. Can't inspect a patient, can't do nothing. That is totally unfortunate. There's nothing I can do. Try one more time. No, look at the dang thing. Try one more time here. Stretcher, med bag. Nope, nothing. No matter what I do, let's try the other. Uh, victim. Nope. That is unfortunate. Well, we will have to clear ourselves off this call then. That is very unfortunate. We'll 
slide in there. Close the doors. Jump in. Pull up the computer. There it is. Open the CAD. Oh, this isn't our call. That's what it is. I don't know what this is. Well, it's not our call. We cleared off of it, so. Well, see, you can go fast, but you got to be careful because in real life, you can't just go blaring around a corner and that's allowed. So, like this here wouldn't be allowed. You can't go opposite lanes of traffic. <clears throat> no! Uh, moron, Mark. Moron. Was doing so so bad. All right, this is a diabetic emergency, so this is sort of an emergency. People can go into diabetic comas and all kinds of other things. So this is a legit emergency. So now we will. I mean, an allergy emergency is serious, but I don't really know if an allergy emergency would. Uh, need an ambulance transport I mean I guess maybe it would but uh, I'm, not, I'm not a doctor so I don't know uh, I guess it would be serious enough if you're highly allergic to bees and got attacked by bees I guess that would be severe, serious but no whatever okay I'm not sure which house they're in I assume it would be this one so let's, let's go take a look real quick. Door locked. Get the ram or the pallet good tool. So I'm going to say this is probably the address. So we will open the back of the door. We'll grab the... Rescue Halligan tool. break in the house <clears throat> I'm not so sure EMS would be breaking into houses but I think it would be more uh, police or fire breaking into the house and then e EMS taking over after that um, they find the suspect but uh, I digress. And this isn't even the house. Isn't that wonderful? We broke into a house that isn't even our the injury. It's going to be this green one. Wow. All right. Try one more time. Let's get a running start. No, I'm not going to work that way. All right, well. Uh, all right. Uh, let's get our rent back. Door is open. No, we need the med bag, not the stretcher. Med bag.
There we go. Inspect the patient. All right. Pulse found. Pulse found. Pulse found. Pulse found. Pulse found. Pulse found. Okay, we need glucose test. So we will. Glucose test, 60. So I'm going to need glucose, uh, oral glucose medication, which is this right there. I'm going to take the pills. There we go. Now we need to transport her. Move stretcher. There she goes. Because we can't get the stretcher up here, so we just move the stretcher, and they automatically move her to the stretcher. So, right down here, drop the med bag off, grab the stretcher, and we'll run it over to the ambulance. There we go. <clears throat> so I need to. There we go, this way. Up and then we'll go right. Thank you for getting out of my way. That was very kind of you. I use the siren when well, I use it now, or the siren's going now, I use that as just the running siren. And then to clear intersections or to get traffic around traffic, I use that. The you know, a little more higher, a little more urgent of a tone, in my opinion. So. Alright. Almost back at the hospital. Hmm. There we go. I do like the EMS. It is fun. Uh, but, you know, not knowing the medical field. It's a little uh, off-putting, I guess you would call it. There we go. Right, turn to left, excuse me. Another patient successfully transported. All right, head back to our ambulance. Shut that door. All 
All right, well, we're going to call an end here for this little bit. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Um, I am back to doing videos now. I have been out for a bit doing things and just not feeling well. So, you know, it took me a little bit to get everything taken care of. But we're back. So I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you to everybody who subscribed, to everybody who viewed, to everybody who's faved, to everybody who's commented, to everybody who's at least acknowledged the channel. I do appreciate you. Other than that, you all have a wonderful day, and we shall see you on the next one. Take care.